behind the scenes. The scenes. Call camera. Oh, you ain't gang gang or the main play don't play. Play. This the Texans treat my namesake like the chain gang. We connected and reject you if you try to disrespect the toilet trouble that we made through our connection. Out the soil and all the puddles so they feel. Cause we killing competition. It don't matter what position. I've always been a fan of street graffiti and just street art. Driving around the city of Houston, you always will see pretty big art murals or public displays of arts and it has a unique style for Houston. So every year we gather as a group. I remember mentioning like, hey, I really want to do black lights and I like graffiti. Is there any way that we can maybe tie the two together? When this project came up, I thought it'd be a good opportunity to you know, bust out the painting skills and, and make some art. I went to the high school for creative and performing arts in Philadelphia and I learned how to paint when I was 14. I got really excited about the idea because I, I knew the players would get excited about it. This was a concept that they would walk into the room and, and see these giant paintings of themselves and, and get excited and that we'd get a good performance out of them. So I just started drawing and painting a lot of portraits of Deshaun and JJ and experimenting with different materials. So we, we bought this black light paint that's UV reactive. So all these paintings have, a, have an invisible layer of, of black light paint in them so that when you shine UV lights on them, you see hidden images, you see hidden text. Once we sort of got our heads around the tools we would need to make all it happen. We constructed a virtual space of where we're going to be shooting with a camera in there so we could kind of figure out what the layout would be, how many paintings we would need, how we would separate them out to cover the set that we needed to cover. And that helped us kind of map out how many total paintings we would want and really give us a lot of direction on how to finalize the set and get it to where we need to shoot. We actually had a, a crew of artists working with us, so we were here for like a straight month painting these giant paintings of the players. And uh, a lot of it had to be done at night because we're using black light and the hot Texas sun isn't really ideal for painting with UV paint. So uh, we'd have to wait until like 8 o'clock to really get going some nights and we'd be here till like 2 in the morning. Tom would be, you know, he'd be upstairs painting every day all the time and you go check on him morning and you go back and check on him later in the day and he may still be working on JJ's face which I think he worked on for for a good two weeks in itself so like and there was definitely some doubt in my mind like I don't know if we're gonna get this all in and done in time. Yeah, of all the shoots we've ever done this one was by far the most unique and probably logistically challenging it's definitely had the most pre-production put into it took the longest to get the set where we needed to be before we could actually shoot. So a lot of times we'll have an idea of what we want, but not a really clear vision once the guys are on set and we're starting to shoot. But this year, because we had done so much work ahead of time, it was really easy to just get them in there and have them on set and everything unfolded really, really well for us. Switch. Dance with Woody versus it. Check this little little joint out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nice photo from your boy. You're in the ink room, you know, black light. See what's going on? Slime. Most of them were, were pretty shocked and kind of honored to actually have a giant painting of them as part of the set. So it always helps the shoot flow well. Having them be excited about it definitely helps take the video to the next level. You can just see it in the way they move on camera and the way they work with the director. One of the reasons I like this concept so much from the beginning is I knew we, we would have assets after media days that we could use during the season. So now we have 10 giant paintings of the players that we can position all throughout NRG Stadium and our fans can enjoy them. Typically, all this work goes into about 60 seconds of our entire game day. The video rolls and the team runs out of the tunnel, and that's kind of the last you'll ever see of it. So it's really nice this year to have pieces of this video living on in the stadium for fans to actually come and, and take a look at and see for themselves. My advice to the, anybody looking to 
take on any sort of project like this or any project that they have. If you have an idea in your head, vet it out with, with other creative people around you. It may be a rocky road till the end, but for us, the payoff was definitely worth taking that risk. I think it's good to step outside of your job description from time to time and, and take some risks. Uh, I was not hired to be an artist at the Houston Texans. I'm, a, I'm an animator. I knew somewhere in the back of my mind that if I worked really hard at this, it would, it would be okay. Thank you.